Hey, what is going on, everybody? I just wanted to do a very quick video today, uh, or tonight. Uh, technically, this is not at my usual time of posting, uh, but about some of the problems that happened at the store reset uh, today, or, well, as of recording, that was about seven hours ago. Um, honestly, it was a bit of a shit show. Uh, just to put it mildly, you know, A, we didn't get Avengers Tower that was supposed to come with us at the store reset today. That's been pushed back now to uh, Saturday at the store reset time. We do have the Wong Blitz. I guess that is uh, something there that they managed to do that. Actually, no, they didn't. Sorry, they didn't even get that done properly. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, the rewards are not how they're supposed to be. So remember how there was supposed to be a 35 shard bracket between 45 and 25? Yeah, uh, that got effed up. Uh, I don't know what them on my first minute, so I don't know if I'm supposed to swear on YouTube. Anyways, uh, this happened once before with the Kate Bishop Blitz. They did correct this for the second time, uh, but this is strangely peculiar that this is the second time on a new character Blitz that this has happened for their first run. So maybe this is a thing that's going to be happening more frequently in the future. This is a really big problem, I think, for uh, players who are looking to just unlock him because uh, both Kate Bishop and... Actually, uh, maybe Kate Bishop was 45 shards, I don't remember. Uh, Wong is 100 shards. And so not having that 35 shards available is very difficult because, you know, in order to get to that uh, 100 shards, you know, it's a lot easier if you have the 35, you know, because you get 21 on the milestone plus 35, that's 56, times two of those blitzes would have been 112. So having a 25, you know, that brings you short, you know, so that's a bit of a, a pain in the ass. So uh, hopefully they bring that 35 back. Maybe they'll actually say something. Who knows? Um, there's another really, really, really big concern of mine, and that's from the mail that was on earlier today. Now, uh, first of all, before we take a look at it, I want to show you the, the, the photo that was showed up uh, before the store reset. This was the Prepare for Pestilence. This is the Morgan in-game mail, uh, but this went out before the store reset, and then they kind of took that back and then they released a version two so there's two things here uh one we're, we're going to talk about this very briefly is the pestilence orb a lot of people are talking about the red stars from morgan lefay and how that now is uh for dark promotion credits we'll get to that when we get to the second photo uh so this part was taken out this pestilence orb I guess is no longer a thing because it doesn't exist in version two of the mail where it says that you could get Morgan Le Fay red stars from whatever this pestilence orb is, Darkhold character shards and other rewards. Now the other thing that I want to talk about is difficulty five plus required traits for nodes five and ten which required dark hunters and web warriors and or web warriors. So this, if this is right and it's not a typo, then this is another lie by Scopely because of something that they said uh, back when they announced Morgan Le Fay more specifically about the difficulty that was required for these two teams. So let's pivot to that really quick before we talk about more about the mail itself. So you guys might have remembered this blog post from March the 4th. Uh, I definitely do because I remember when Scopely says things and when it's wrong. And so the problem here is when you scroll down, when you get past all of this stuff and they talk about the scourge issue here it's the scourge pestilence event uh, if you read through the middle part here it says scourge difficulties one through five have flexible character requirements but difficulty six and above will either require web warriors or dark hunters specifically for missions five and ten difficulty six and ten uh, sorry, six and above are not required to unlock Morgan Le Fay but keep in mind that you'll earn more points with higher difficulties so why does this matter well, because now you may need them both for difficulty five. And again, why is that a big issue? That's an issue because you need to do difficulty five in order to unlock Morgan Le Fay. And so now they're telling you that you need to have Web Warriors or Dark Hunters to unlock her. There's no if, ands, or buts about this anymore. You need possibly both teams. One team, a lot of people are thinking that Web Warriors might be enough to unlock or to clear both nodes. I'm not convinced that's entirely the case. And that's really going to depend on the difficulty, I guess, of difficulty five. Uh, but Web Warriors aren't super great on their sustain. And at least because I'm going to be doing difficulty six, I don't expect Web Warriors to get me through both levels. And that's why I have been gearing up Dark Hunters on the side because I'm almost convinced i'm fairly convinced that i'm gonna need both teams uh one for each team one for each node basically and especially if you're stacking on any scourges at all then i think that that's definitely going to be the case so 
let's talk about this a little bit more, right? And so they have part two of the mail, if you read it again. <laughs> this is the second version that they sent out. So uh, what you can see is missing is the Pestilence Orb, like I mentioned. Uh, they do talk about this, though. The minimum run points to unlock Morgan Le Fay, 425k points to earn through the rank reward. So I guess what that's telling you is that if you have 425k points, that's going to be the bare minimum that you rank on the leaderboard that scores shards, I guess is what they're suggesting. And then if you get 500,000 points, you're going to immediately unlock her which to me suggests it kind of um, is going to give you the difference in shards what you would have got at the 425 uh, rank reward. So just trying to stick with me here. Uh, so I get like, 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 let's say you get 75 shards for 425k points in the milestone, but you get 25 as a rank payout for this, you know, bottom payout. Maybe that 500k points from the milestones you're going to give you additional maybe that additional 25 that would kind of make up for it because they're saying that you immediately unlock which means that you don't have to wait for the rank rewards so i don't know how many shards in total are going to be available in the milestone rewards points uh that you would be able to unlock every event but we'll have to find out about that but the most concerning thing is is now you are definitely required to have dark hunters and or web warriors you know you're gonna have you know for those of you who are only building web warriors you're gonna have to bank on the fact that yeah maybe you might not uh, or hope that you do clear both of the nodes with one team but i'm a little bit skeptical so i would strongly recommend that other players consider building dark hunters i know that some might not want to do that i think if you want to be a little bit more competitive and you are aiming for difficulty six i definitely think you're going to need it personally um but this is different from what we were told in the json files and what what we were led to believe that the difficulty 5 was actually going to require city characters so nodes 5 and 10 in many of the other difficulties 5 and below were suggested to be city characters if you go check my video i did a video last week about uh, all of the different sections and the characters that i recommended for that and in place of the Web Warriors and Dark Hunters in the non-Difficulty 6 was shown to have city tag characters, which would have been just generics. I mean, Dark Hunters and Web Warriors would have been part of that because a lot of them are city. Um, but now we're being told that we need to have this. And this is a flat-out lie. If this is the case, it's a flat-out lie from Scopely about this. And that's that's not good. That To put it mildly, that's fucked up. Um, because this is the second time now in just the span of a few days where they have reneged on their, uh, their blog, the information that they gave us. If you guys remember, I made a post about, I made a video about Dr. Strange, uh, Strange, Evil Strange's, uh, campaign event, the hard mode difficulty and how it is being, uh, capped out basically on fragments on the nodes. This is something that they said would be the same rewards. And so if this is the case, this is another fucking instance of Scopely lying to us on information regarding the blog. And I was saying in my Discord, you know, I was like, I just, I fucking bet you that they're going to do something bad, that, that, that something is just not going to add up. And this is part of it. And I think it's a big deal because if you don't have these two teams uh, and you, you want to unlock Morgan Le Fay, well, you're fucked now. And I, I hope that you guys, uh, I hope there's some clarification and or I hope you guys start to gear this because I think we're probably less than two weeks away uh, on Morgan Le Fay's event. And I think that we need to start preparing for this. And if you haven't built these characters, then do so now. Otherwise, you're going to get blindsided by this uh, if this turns out to be true and you're not ready for it. So I, I would really caution because if you don't have these, you just can't clear it, right? You can't clear it. You have to use these characters for nodes 5 and 10, which means you're not going to clear the event because no 10 is the last one. And if you don't have this team, these teams, then yeah, you're in big trouble. Uh, the other thing, of course, is Morgan Le Fay's Red Stars in the Dark Promotion credits, which you've seen now. But it says, can also be found in the Elite Store. So this suggests that there may be one other way to get that. That could be the leaderboard. And that's kind of what I'm aiming to think. Some people think it's might maybe not. And maybe that they meant this can also was meant to be the Pestilence Orb, which was from the first, uh, the first mail. That's possible as well. I think that maybe we might see some red stars in the leaderboard. And then after that, let, let's say a maximum of four red in the leaderboard and then beyond that if you want five and above you're gonna have to do it with dark promotion credits i think that while i, I don't know if i like that that makes the most sense to me and I, I i think that's probably what we're getting at this stage so let me know what you think about all of this uh do you guys have dark hunters and web warriors ready for those of you 
who were only aiming for difficulty five. Um, for those of you who were aiming for difficulty six and, you know, have been listening to some of my advice over the last couple of weeks talking about Dark Hunters uh, together with Web Warriors, you're probably okay. Uh, but for those of you who aren't, um, yeah, you're really getting fucked once again by Scopely because they know how to bend people over and give them the wrong information. So I'm really unhappy for that. I'm unhappy that they can't stick to their word. And let me know all of that and how you feel in the comments down below because it's really important that Scopely knows that they can't continue to fuck around with the player base and lie to us flat out to our face. And I'm really angry about that. So uh, that's it for this short update. Until next time or until the blog post. Fuck, we'll see what happens then. Till then, uh, stay tuned, stay safe and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Boylan signing out.